we're going to show you the features of our chair, uh, which I think will be helpful for you when you bring a patient in. Um, first of all, this is really actually an um, a, um, ENT chair. It goes all the way back, but we don't ever use it that way. But on the side here, there are some handles. And if you have a patient that has a back issue or has trouble with their neck, and they can't sit up straight, just grab a hold of these and just pull it down and you can adjust it to whatever position that you want. And then when putting it back up just goes right back there. This headrest, we always want the patient's head to be parallel to the floor. So when you get your patient set in the chair, we will have you adjust the headrest. And to do that, there is a little latch right here, you want to lift up on it and then you can move the headrest at any position that you want and when you release this latch make sure that you see the black dot that lo locks it into place. If you don't see that the patient's head as soon as they put their head back is going to go back so we don't want that. One of the other good features about this chair is the arms of the chair. If you just push right here on the bottom, their chairs, the arms go up. If you have a patient that is transferring from a wheelchair or has crutches, it's really nice to be able to just have them slide over and then when they get in you can put these back down. Another feature of this chair is that it has a foot rest which you can put up if the patient has to back into the chair you can get them in the chair and then you can put the foot rest back down for their comfort. Um, I'm going to bring Karen in as my patient and I'm going to have first of all I'm going to bag the chair before you uh, bring your patient in you want to make sure that you have your your area completely set up and these bags are found in all of the cubicles in that very top drawer. So we'll bag the chair. We want to make sure that we cover all of the chair. Now we have a box here that has, you can move the, the chair up and down. So we'll cover this with the plastic as well. Or we have a foot pedal here that you can use to adjust the chair if it goes up or down. Okay, Karen, if you'll come in, I'm going to have my patient come in. I'm going to have her take a seat. The first thing I'll do is I'm going to have her take her glasses off. And she, it's best if they hang on to their own glasses. The minute that you take them, you are responsible for them. So have them just hold on to their glasses. I'm going to adjust her headrest here. I'll have to have her slide up just a little bit. Okay. Is that comfortable? You always want to make sure that your patient is comfortable before you start. And then I will grab the thyroid collar. And you want to make sure that you have the thyroid covered. We don't want it sitting like this or like this. We want to make sure that thyroid is covered. We do not need to use the lead apron, however there are some patients who request it. Um, the reason we don't need the, the lead apron is there is very little radiation, scatter radiation with the digital radiographs. So the state has deemed that the thyroid collar is uh, the appropriate call, however if you have a pregnant person, uh, pregnant woman, uh, and children 19 and under need both the thyroid collar and the lead apron. So and those are found in the second drawer of our cabinet. And so now we'd be ready to go. We've got our patients set in the chair. We would have set up everything on our counter and we'll put our clean gloves on and then we will continue on with taking our radiographs.